Today I have a tutorial to show how to create a digital display in Adobe Illustrator. Um, digital screens and displays are useful for products, digital products being sold over the web um, on Amazon, sites like that, or on different um, e-commerce sites where you want to control what is showing on the display and you want to control the legibility of the display versus a photograph isn't going to be able to pick up the detail that you can get with the digital display and having vector art for the display is also useful because you can make adjustments later like for example this is for um, this display i'm creating is for a product la launch for a temperature gauge and um, the the art has the product has not been created yet this is just a mock-up to show how the display could could look and then we would make adjustments over time one of the things i refer to often is my kind of digital display cheat sheet with numbers and things symbols that i can reuse for this type of work and what i do is um is all these all these elements are black but i gray out I increase the, reduce the opacity of numbers that I don't really want to show. I just want to have kind of a ghosting. So for example, on this one, I'm just going to adjust it to four. And you can see, I just have like a faint, oops, just have a faint um, color showing through, which would be, which would be typical for a display where you just have a little bit of a ghosting in the background. So that's my display and I'm, I'll provide in the download, I'll provide something that you can use like a starter you can use to, for your own digital display. I'll give you some numbers and, and you can go from there. It's really helpful to have this. The first thing I do is I, I've started a new file. I've placed an image. I did some research online to find something that I could work with that would be similar to the product that I'm using. And so I place the image and I put it on a layer and I ghosted it back 50 percent. And I created an art layer and a guide layer, which is what I typically do just to keep elements organized. And the other thing I hope you get from this tutorial is not just how to create a digital display, but how you would approach a problem like this in Adobe Illustrator and some of the tools that I would typically use to get art like this re recreated, created or recreated. So uh, what I do first is, is I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around my air display area. And I, a lot of times I just even like to create this freehand just because I want to be able to control the elements, the shapes better. So I'm just going to create this quick. I'm holding down, down the shift key as I create these corner radius corners and I can adjust it later if I want to. Another thing you could do to get these perfect that I often do is I create a circle and I'm just, I'm just going to measure the size of this. It's about four by four in screen, so I just set my cursor value to four. 
oops, minus if, um, let's say for the example, this should really be 0.5 or 0.75. Just stepping this. This will give me a much more perfect shape. I could also round the corners, but I don't always use that that feature. I don't like what I get with it, so I just do it by hand. It's always an option to draw shapes by hand. That's what I like about this application. So that's my perfect radius corner display background. And separating different elements out by layers is always a good idea. Then you can lock them and isolate. And for these, um, some of the type, I usually just resort to Helvetica. And I'm just gonna do This is just uh, this is just for approval purposes, so it doesn't have to be exact or really to spec. So I'm just using my my judgment for this round. So if you want to align something, it has to be on top, align, align to key object, and then I'm going to center it. And I'm going to move my background back down. So I'm just going to use this. This display larger. I'm going to make the height and just keep in mind what I do so that I just remembering the size adjustment I made in case I, I want to change it later. Thirty-eight. I'm gonna make this bring down the opacity, but I'm just gonna keep these other numbers in here, and you'll see why I do that. And then I'm just gonna recreate this temperature gauge because I don't have anything like this. But once I do, I'm gonna put it back into my into my digital screen file so that I have it later when I create. It just makes it easier. The more I create this type of art, the more elements I have for the next time.
and then I check that width is I'm gonna make it one point five one point um, I'm gonna make a circle I use the alignment and the shape tools a lot with this. I'm just gonna join this whole thing. I'm using the Pathfinder. And then my other shape. Center everything. Command D will step it on Mac. the drop tool and I'm gonna make this something equal 0 0.7 0 0.65 should really be more like two What I do is I, I just make a line that's the same height as the circle, 0.65. And I'm gonna center this. Lock that. I'm going to cut this line. the shift key just rotate maybe make them a little bit shorter
just gonna group this. And the only thing I really don't have is my H and M, but I can recreate that. zero hours, 15 minutes. So I'm just going to use this. Group it, line it. Two, I grouped it. I'm just going to line it up. And then I'm going to take these areas that I don't want to have filled in black. I'm going to make those 4% like opacity. And then just that's why I put that on a different layer just so I could turn it off and see how things look. And I think this should really be let me group this. Line these up. Line these up. I'm going to group these two. And if you want, you could always just add a little bit of color to this just to make it pop a little bit. But I probably will bring this back into Photoshop and do some work because I, I have a product, a mock-up that I'm working on and this digital screen will be all part of that. So there's, this isn't, this is just my vector aspect of this job. So, but I, but if it were just going to remain vector, which sometimes that's the case, I would just make this like a gray and then copy. Command J to join those endpoints. And then I usually just fill this in with white. 
make it on what your back your background screen does just to add some dimension and you can even get rid of this uh, outline too and that's my digital display um, I'm gonna put some pieces some starter elements into a download file for you to get started but uh, this is how you would go about creating art for a digital screen please like subscribe throw me a comment um, ask me a question. Thank you for watching.